Old Maid. Is it just a ripoff of a ancient Venetian game called La Vecchia? Hi, I'm Chris and this is Playing Games. Don't be a joker. Like, comment, and subscribe. As you know, I have reviewed the Italian regional decks. I came across the Trevisani deck, which is from Venice. And there's a slightly odd character in that deck. He's a jack who has decapitated heads in his hands. And it was a bit confusing for me. Thankfully, there's a great community here on YouTube. And one user, Elvise Codifero, told me that that card is called La Vecchia. And he has his own game in Venice called La Vecchia. Now, La Vecchia is basically old made for this Italian deck. It's a super simple game and let us show you how to play it right here. And you can say, you know, the OG way to play old maid. After filming about 10 episodes in a day, Ellie and I decided just to throw this one in here for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Hi, welcome back to Playing Games. Today we'll be playing a game called La Vecchia. La Vecchia is a card game about one specific Jack who looks very, very out of the ordinary. He looks kind of like a joker, although in poker decks there are sometimes jokers. Maybe that's what they're referring to. This game is like Old Maid because there's one Old Maid, La Vecchia. This Old Maid, if you get him, you can trade him off. Get up your poker face. It's like the ultimate battle of picking the cards. Picking the cards. <laughs> picking the cards. It's a fun game. So this is the Trevisane Italian card deck. It's also known as the Trevigiane deck, not the Trevignane deck as I misspoke in the previous video. I have to say this is probably my most favorite of the North Italian decks. I've really grown to love this. I wasn't a huge fan at first, but it's really grown on me. I think the artwork is beautiful. I love the traditions. It's got the nice tall slender trim. This deck is also cool because it has proverbs on the aces. And you can see the translations for those in the previous video right there. And let's get to La Vecchia. Here he is. What do you think about this card? He's ugly. He's ugly? What makes him ugly? He's a criminal. He's a criminal? La Vecchia is called La Vecchia because he has a beard. Usually the Jax or Fantes are pretty young people and this guy is much older. He has a gray beard and a gray mustache. So that's why the Venetians call him La Vecchia. And the head thing, I didn't really get a clear answer on, but he's this old dude with a sword and he's cutting off his own head. So very interesting card. So in La Vecchia, you take all 40 cards and you split them between the two players. If you have four players, you can use the full deck. Just give each player 10 cards. So I'm gonna shuffle them. It is important that you shuffle them because you don't want to keep giving the La Vecchia to the same person. All right, so you can deal out all 20 cards at once. You can just cut the cards in half and sort of see if they're the same size. They are. So you choose which side you want. Okay. So now that we have our cards, we look through them. And if you have pairs, if you have two fours, two threes, a pair of anything, you can take them out of your hand. If you have all four of them, you can take them all out at once. The idea is to shed your cards first without being left with La Vecchia. First player to get to nothing wins. Now you cannot shed the Vecchia. You're stuck with them, just like an old maid. So you want to get the other player to take La Vecchia out of your hand kind of like a go fish or old maid scenario where we're gonna be picking cards from our hands. First things first, we'll take out all the cards we can. The exception to the pairs rule is if you have a Fonte, which is a Jack, that's like the king, but without a crown, then that comes out alone. It doesn't need a pair. That way you're not stuck with uh, that third Jack or Fonte because you can't pair it up with La Vecchia, who's also a Fonte. You have La Vecchia because I do not. So normally we wouldn't see each other's cards, but just for the sake of this, we see. And with two players, you know the missing card you have is in your opponent's hand. However, there's also the uh, time bomb, which is La Vecchia, and you don't want to take that out of your player's hand. So let's go. So Ellie, take a card first. Like this one. <gasps> right. So she took one of my sevens and she has a seven, so she can take that out of her hand and place it down on the table. She has one less card in her hand, and now it's my turn. All right, I'm gonna take this one. So it's a six and I have a six of coins. So I take that out of my hand and I have fewer cards in my hand. I might wanna shuffle the cards a little bit in case she has an idea of where La Vecchia is. All right, good luck. There you go. You took a two, so she has two more twos 
and now it's my turn. I take a card, and it's a king. I have the other king there. Done. All right, I'm going to shuffle mine a little bit. Now I'm down to just four cards. Go for it. You can't pull it back. You just got to take it or not. <gasps> well, now that I got the Vecchia, I need to make sure that he gets the Vecchia, and I win. All right, so I have to take her cards, and I have three cards to go, so I'm pretty close to the end. I'm going to take this one. <laughs> Aha, oh, it's no, the it's five. The Vecchia. It's not the Vecchia, it's the fives. So I'm safe. I have two cards to go. All right, your turn. The ace. I have an ace, so I okay. can do that. All right, so there are just two cards now. So that gives me a 50 50 chance of either winning or losing. It's just down to luck. When you have more players, it is a little less predictable than this, but it's still fun this way. So it's up to you to mix it, and it's up to me to not pick the Vecchia. Mm. Mm. I don't know. They both feel bad, but uh, this one feels less bad. Ah! I got the Vecchia. All right, well, it's not over for me yet, because she still has to pick the card. Yay, victory! If I don't pick the Vecchia, I could win this. Mm-hmm. Once and for all. So the last two cards, it's kind of like um, deuce in uh, tennis, you know, where add in, add out, and this can go back and forth for a little while. Because if she gets La Vecchia, she has La Vecchia, but she's not out. I still have to take one of the two cards. But if she gets the four of cups, she wins because she has the other four. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> oh no, I have the Vecchia again. Now it's my turn. I could win here. I have the four of cups still. And if I pick her four instead of La Vecchia, I win. Otherwise, we go on. Last time it was here. This time, I'm going for this one. So we go again. You ready? Shuffling it, and here we go. Are you going to take the Vecchia? <laughs> I'm going to try. I'm not going to try the same place again because. Ah! <laughs> I knew it! I'm so lucky. I win again. Good job, Ellie. You win. Good game. And so that's how you play Vecchia. Games don't usually last that long. Sometimes they do, though. And you don't want to get stuck with La Vecchia because you're the loser of the game. But just shuffle the cards again and play again, and your luck will probably improve. You are great.